this is gonna be an awesome episode actually. I've got Grant from Senator Down and I've got Sam, his son-in-law, and they're joining me for the Senator Rule the Sea 2023 fishing competition. It's today's Wednesday afternoon. We've got the briefing tonight at four o'clock, which I'm running the guys through the briefing for the comp. We've got Thursday fishing, Friday fishing, Saturday fishing and then Saturday night is the prize giving, dinner and booze up and accommodation for this we're staying at the Tarara Resort and that's where the comms based and that's in the middle of Marlborough Sounds there so you couldn't get a better spot. Nathan's the host there and it's an awesome spot. We've been meeting all the guys on the way down to Havelock, we just launched in Havelock now and we've got another Cine behind us heading out to the resort. Been pretty cool catching up with all the guys so far and talking over the, the Facebook page about the event. So everyone's pretty jacked up and excited to get away for five days and three days fishing for the comp. We've got heaps of cool prizes in there. What I've done is the model competition prizes. So in this event, we've got 620s, 650s, 770s, eight meters, and we've got the 1860. So in that prize pool, the closest person to get a fish to any one of those sizes, so 770 and any species will win that prize. We've got the Muppet Award, we've got all sorts. This is going to be a really cool laid back comp. Yeah, stress free is the plan. Looking forward to it, the boys are all jacked up, so we're just making our way out now, heading to Tarara. Turning up, great to see you. It's actually great to meet a lot of people. Yeah. You two, what are you doing out in your boat for two hours? Yeah, oh, Brokeback right Mountain. <laughs> 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 you freshwater boys love like that shit. You don't want to know that. First of all, welcome to the first uh, Senator Rule of Sea 2023. Probably my last one after I <laughs> have to deal with all you guys registration forms. <laughs> Me. <laughs> name, name the t-shirt size, XL, the name is C1, what the C1? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this is not a politically correct fishing competition guys, but it is a competition that is fish friendly, so a measure only comp, but we've got release needles in that there, if you want to release fish, we'll keep them. Uh, Grant, did you want to say a couple of things before we carry on? Yeah, yeah I think I'll, I'd like to, eh? I mean, um, these days it's, it's a stressful old life, you know, like, and just to get here, You've been clearing your calendars, getting your work clear and working your ass off just to get here. And we deliberately made it in the middle of nowhere. But um, 
that's for a good reason. It, yeah. And um, we didn't want to like have something in Auckland where we had a hundred boats and everyone could make it. We actually wanted something in the middle of nowhere. And um, so it's pretty awesome that you all made it. It's stoked that you could all be here on behalf of Senator. Um, this is an amazing event for us, the first time. And, um, and first of all, a big round of applause for Mark, who's, who's organised the whole thing, you know. So thank you, Mark. <laughs> Um, Grant, uh, if you don't know, is the owner of Senator. So what we've got here, team, is the boat bags. So this is the bags that they get when they turn up, and we've got here Mako. That's the name of the boat. And in here, they've got the competition tees. They've got the competition mugs in here as well. The Senator Rule the Sea mugs, so they get a nice drinking vessel. They've got a black magic measure mat there as well. And I'll pull those tees out. And in there as well... Um, They've got a set of rules as well, and because it's a measure only comp, what I've actually done, I've, I've got in there as well, I've got a, a vent needle so the guys can release any fish they want to, or tag and release if they want to, or they can keep them as well for it, and being a, a lot easier, it's a measure comp. So they've got to use this little card here and this little sticker. Rule the Sea 20, uh, 23 logo. So yeah, so that's what they get in the pack there when they register. So when they turn up, we'll go through all the briefing, and this is all the boats here that are registered, which is gonna be pretty good for the first turnout. Not too many, about 45 people and 15, 16 boats. Massive thanks to Shimano for coming on board and sponsoring beanies. Also, these are all the prizes here. Massive thanks to Black Magic as well for coming on board. Shimano as well, and a massive thanks to Big Blue. They've come and Mario's put on a heap of prizes. Also, Simrad for a heap of hats, buffs and all that sort of stuff. Heaps of prizes we've got going on here that I'm packing up and it's just gear all over the show. But yeah, lots of spot prizes, guys. And lots more prizes to come. But yeah, it's just a bit of a bit of a big job organizing all this stuff. Big stack of uh, Lucanus there. They're all spot prizes as well, so just heaps and heaps of spot prizes. There's two relentlessness. Yeah, one's 860 and one's the, the better ones, the smaller ones. Is <laughs> <laughs> organising all this? No worries, dude. No worries. No limits. <laughs> Down <laughs> tools. Cheers, Lee. Cheers. Thanks very much. Good on you. Mako. This one's a good name. It's, uh, you want to go. <laughs> 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 you didn't actually name it that. That was right now. You didn't name it. And I got Phantom. Cheers, mate. Savage, not yet. It's Friday night, probably. Relentless. Relentless, the main relentless. How's it, thank you? CC Rider. CC Rider, Pat Attack, Panel Man, Pat. Hey, hey, hey. Man, have I got stories, eh? <laughs> 20 years ago. Oh, oh, that's infamous. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need the bag, though. You can get it and walk away, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> More bills. 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 Shoe and Zane. Bills. The, oh, the broke backers. Oh, <laughs> That's your call sign now, eh? Right? <laughs> Go back mountain. Staycation. Corpse Bay Marine. Let's go. We're we clapping for that. Bad attitude. Bad attitude. What are you doing over there, Rido? For sake. Mac, Mac. Sweet. Thanks, mate. Vengeance. Vengeance. Yep. Thank you. So if anything over 40 centimetres of big cod, they're not registered for the comp anyway, unless it's uh, a giant, giant, giant one. So that avoids anyone upsizing the cod. Uh, we've got John Dory, Groper, Trevally, Kawa, Gurna, Cherokee, Barracuda, Wonky Gonk. We call Wonky Gonk Sea Perch. The name we've called them Wonky Gonks, which are Sea Perch. So Snapper, Kingfish, and we've done cod. So what we're going to do though is, um, we're going to draw out the main species, what's going to be the top species. Grant's going to draw one out of the hat. Oh, easy tiger. He's going to draw one out of the hat. And for the top species, there's three prizes. There's first, second and third. So gold, bronze and silver. So that one there is going to be the ward gold. And then we've got bronze, we've got silver, and we've got a prize pack as that as well. <laughs> That's a good mix up though.
The Fishing Log is presented by Senator Boats and the 770. Anywhere is possible. Yamaha Marine New Zealand. Reliability that just keeps going. Simrad Electronics. Finding fish with ease. Houston Motors, the official sponsor of the Mitsubishi Triton. Shimano Fishing New Zealand, designed and made to tame even the biggest of slugs. Okay, the targeted species is wonky gong. <laughs> <laughs> species and then after that we've got Barracuda and then we've got from then on first prize there's no um, second prize for any species it's just first prize for John Dory Grover Trevally <coughs> Kawai Gurnard Cherokee Snapper and Kingfish so dare I say it wonky gonks and to be to be honest you know you guys from the North Island will probably find it pretty hard if you don't know the areas to catch them but you will catch wonky gonks <laughs> <laughs> no matter where you go you'll, you'll so <laughs> So you want some ocean gun giant ones of those. Well, last man standing, so we talked about the mystery cod which is 33 to 40 centimetres and that's going to be a daily prize as well. Uh, we'll do the longest snapper daily, longest kingfish daily as well. The most unusual catch every day. Also best photo. Yeah. Mark, what do you mean by yeah. best photo? Just best photo of something. Of something? Yes, yeah, something. Of something. 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 Anything. Something. Just take a photo. Anything. <laughs> it's the best photo, but not of a fish. Just something. something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be a photo. It's going to be a photo you're going to... But you're going to know at the time because you're going to look at it and go, oh, that's the best photo. <laughs> 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 you know, who's going to look at the photo? It's not Sam. Probably you. Oh, I've got to go out here. I don't want to see some shit. I've got to go to YouTube. He's just going to see you. For the last man standing, uh, John at Hawke's Bay Marine, the legend, there he is right there. So we've got last man standing, so each night we'll draw five people out of the hat and then they'll go up and stand up here in a line. We'll pull your name out of the hat, the last person standing is going to win that Suzuki 2.5 horse motor thing. And the boat. There was, there was one girl was like, small in there. be me. I'd like to put them as a Brokeback Mountain team. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to check with them, they've seen pretty stuff with those two. <laughs> they might go a third one, but oh, I don't know. They need to put those venting needles in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Thanks, Richie. Alright, our team. Alright, well, thanks, uh, thanks again for turning up. That's it for this evening. Like I said, heaps of spot prizes every night. Just like to welcome everyone on behalf of myself and Penny to Tarawa. Um, it's a pretty special place, and I hope you guys enjoy the next four days, three nights. Um, well done, Mark. It's been thanks, man. probably eight months since we first laid eyes on each other. and. A few phone calls or a few, what the? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to me? Yeah. <laughs> so we got there, so um, please, if something's not right, just let us know. We don't want you going away thinking, all oh, that was a fuck up. If we, if we get something wrong, let us know, and we'll, we'll make sure we see it right. <laughs> <laughs>
way out now. Live weather at Stevens is saying it's 35 knots. It's, we're just going through the reach now. We've got Horn Island in the background here. Just took it out slowly to keep the wood and the sounds. Grant and Sam, we had a few drinks last night. We did the, the briefing last night for the competition. And that all went pretty good, a few laughs there. Just gonna head out to the bottom end of the cheap woods and make a call on what we're gonna do. Not really sure how bad that weather's gonna be there. If, it, if it's real bad today, I think we might just stay around the tips of the sounds and maybe go for, maybe try live baiting for some John Dory or something along those lines, but we'll head and make our way out and see what it's gonna do anyway. Grant drew out of the hat, the, speed, the main species for the competition, so there's 10 species including cod, wonky gonk is the ruler sea 2023 main species and so there's a, a gold, silver and bronze trophy for that, whoever gets the biggest wonky gonk and you can only enter one wonky gonk into that uh, category so you can't win all three trophies and then after that is barracuda and then you've got snapper kingfish, john dory, Cherokee, trevally, ry I think that's about it. Ten species and the cod. Day one, mission on. Had a quick look in Alan's tray. Not much going on there. The boys had a bit of a jig, but they've never jigged before. So, yeah, had a quick go there. The wind sort of died down a bit from what Predict Wind's saying. See if we can't make our way across to Stevens or the Rangitotos and have a go there. At the moment, we're just having a cup of coffee. That's with our brand new Rule of Sea mugs. That was part of the entry pack for the competition. You've got a t-shirt, a mug, vent needle, rules, and all that sort of carry on. So, oh, there's a big gust of wind. Yeah, have a cuppa. We've got bacon, gun in the oven, and then we're gonna make our way across. <laughs> well, we made our way across from the inside of Chetwoods over to the inside of the Rangitotos. How big do you reckon that was? A couple meters? Yeah, two. Two, two meter, two meter swell and waves coming through. Five of us came across and you see all the other boats. The, the Sennies just eat up that bad weather. Straight up and down, side on sea, big swell, and you don't even pitch at all. It's they're unbelievable. But yeah, I gotta be honest, she's pretty uh what are you up to now, mate? Well, I'm just gonna put my jacket on, man. Oh. Yeah, it's hosing down at the moment and it's junk up here. I don't actually I'm not sure if we're gonna stay here for much longer, it's just junk, so we might just pull the pin and Maybe go and hide in the sounds and soft bait for some gurnard or something. Yeah, but that wind's coming in straight behind us and so is the rain. Just gone past quarter past 12. Nothing happening inside the Rangitoto, so we made our way back over to the trios and we're just fishing for cod and trying to get a wonky gonk here. It's nice and sheltered in here. Coming back over, it died down a bit, but still some massive rollers coming through, a couple of meter rollers. We've got CC Rider in behind us here. They made their way back halfway across and they look like they're doing the same thing. But yeah, just got a couple of good cod. Very quiet. Very quiet. And very crappy weather. Not bad, but not not quite big. Just gone nearly two o'clock. Ah, uh, yeah. Was I've spiraled into fishing depression a bit, really? To be fair, <laughs> the weather's just not letting us get anywhere. We keep. We've, I, do you guys feel like we've just been driving in rough shit yeah. all day? Yeah, we've just been driving. It's all done. Now we come back into the bottom end of uh, bottom end of Foresight, the Duffers Reef here, and we're just trying to get some wonky gonks for the comp and cod and maybe we might catch a shag actually as well they're pretty good in the old smoker rain hasn't split up all day but luckily we've got tomorrow what with what we th Thursday today we've got Friday and Saturday so hopefully the weather clears up and we can get out further well to be fair 
There was five of us smashing it through those two metre seas to get over to the inside of the Rangitotos and the weather's meant to drop off um, over the next two days so hopefully we can get into a bit of some snapper but today's been pretty pretty disappointing actually. We had a nice bacon butty breakfast and that's been the highlight of my day so far. Sam, I oh know Sam got a giant wonky gomp so he's in the comp and Grant got a banded wrasse so that might go into weird ass catch or the unusual fish of the day weird ass catch, weird -ass catch. but oh shit my whole yeah mate the whole dash is weird again right signing out for the meantime Okay everybody, uh, I was just saying to Grant actually how easy that was to work all out because everyone caught f <laughs> <laughs> uh, So no, pretty trying conditions. Into the prizes for tonight, we've got heaps of prizes guys. A few boats haven't turned up so if you're not here for prize giving, you forfeit your prize. And just to be real clear too, it's one species per angler. First major prize today for the longest barracuda and that is for down tools. Grant Smith with 87.4. Oh, wow. Got the Shimano tackle bag, Shimano beanie, big blue slow jigs, black magic flasher rigs, bottom banger. That's an awesome rig. And uh, Shimano, a oh, Simrad hat and buff. Nice, great. Sweet. <laughs> Smallest wonky gonk. That is infamous in Sam Walker with 27. <laughs> Swamp dog. So you got a Shimano beanie, a couple of flasher rigs, bottom banger, Thank and you. big blue slow jig. <laughs> well done, champ. Longest snapper and the only snapper at a monstrous 27.3 <laughs> <laughs> And that's Ben Adams Jr. Simon Morley. <laughs> So that just shows you, you know, Honestly, like the pace to, 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 to measure stuff in, you know. Uh, longest kingfish and the only kingfish and a monstrous 98.5 centimetre CC Ryan, Ryder Brian Sangster. Bottom banger, flasher rigs, jig, beanie and some other stuff in there. Uh, most unusual catch of the day. This is a, uh, the chef is actually the judge of the average size and the species and she selected Bad Attitude Shay Morley with a parrotfish. <laughs> Beanie, bottom banger, flasher rigs and yeah, slow jig. Uh, right, mystery length cod, again length decided by our awesome chef was 36.2 centimetres, CC Ryder, Pat Burke with 36 oh, centimetres. Right? 36.2, right? Jesus, I mean, that's a nice thing. Here you go, Chandler. Hey, Some stuff in a bag for you. <laughs> Last man standing. So five more people tonight to go on the draw to win uh, John and Hawke's Bay Marines. Thanks, John. Uh, 2.5 Suzuki outboard motor. Five more people, please, Chad. Shay Morley, Bad Attitude. Heath Stafford, Mac Mac. Pat Burke, CC Ryder. Aaron from You Wanna Go. Warwick Johnson from You Wanna Go. All right, that's it. Congratulations, guys. Uh, the biggest spiny dog. Yeah, well, people did, so we're like, Ow. give them a award. <laughs> <laughs> Spikes for doing it. Get a bit of blood poisoning and a slow jig in a hat. Uh, so that was Stu, you got the biggest spiny dog. Well done, mate. Lovely. Zane, where are you? Biggest body. Hat, stuff, and other bits. Of Did a dumbass award. And that was from the lads from You Want to Go that rang me last night going, hey, we left our 
the prize pack there, so how can we measure any fish or anything? <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> The Cheeky Bastard Award, when these, um, these smart asses decided to stitch three barracuda together to get the biggest one. <laughs> of about 8 metres 20. <laughs> and that's Rito. <laughs> It was pretty well done actually, you'll have to show everyone the picture. I thought it was, you know, how much can a barracuda struggle to have three people holding it? <laughs> Day one over, uh, tomorrow's meant to be a little bit better weather, but not by much by looks of it, probably five, six knots, so hopefully we can uh, get a bit abroad or something. Anyway, thanks for team. Thanks for the Sorry. Friday morning, day two, De technically it's day three, but day two of the actual fishing part of the comp. We just made our way out to the outer sounds inside Chetwoods, targeting a wonky gonk now. Sam, you still got one on? Yep. It's got a fish on. It's probably a wonky gonk if it just feels like weight or a small cod. Forecast is about the same cod. 20 knots coming through easterly, but it's certainly better than it was yesterday. Uh, they were easy a couple of meters yesterday, maybe more. And yeah, so we're just gonna see how we go here, and then make our way across. I think maybe to Stevens if we can get across there. But it's certainly way better than what it was. I think most everyone else has pretty much stayed in the inner sounds. I think that weather yesterday actually deterred a lot of them because it was pretty junk and there was just nothing going on, no fish at all. So. That's the first fish on. One cod. Well, we've got about 40 knot winds gusting over the top and we had a bit of a mishap and we've got a bit of braid around the motor so the boys are just sorting that out now and we managed to get a good trevally so that was good but yeah it is i don't know if you guys can hear it and see it it is gale force up here we managed to get through the passage and that was brutal should be some pretty good footage of that it never looks rough in the camera though but yeah you guys can probably hear it <laughs> Get him. Whoa. Wicked. Holy shit. 
That's a poor <laughs> beagle. Come around, come around, come on, boys. Come on. Wow, he's big. He's <laughs> real big. Oh, no. <laughs> It was a big snapper. <laughs> Good job, dude. That's your first half snapper. First half snapper. <laughs> Love it. I prefer him oh, like that. The shark's still here, dude. Tastes like Is fear. He? Yeah, he's big, man. That's a poor beagle. Look how big he is. First snapper on board, Sam. Is that your first ever snapper? No, I caught him from shore. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was a good snapper, now it's half a snapper. Now it's half a good snapper. We, big Paul Beagle got hold of that, and he was hanging around. I didn't bring my underwater cam, so I didn't really get any footage of him, but that was a big shark. He had some girth to him, a bit like me, really. Some girth. Did you get a photo of your half snapper? Yeah. It still may be the biggest fish, you see. Maybe the biggest snapper. <laughs> yeah, that's hard out. You know how hard I can't even turn into the wind. That wind's so strong, eh? Strong, what do you reckon it's doing now? Oh, it's still sitting around there, 30 knots. 30 knots, yeah. Yeah, 25, 30 knots. Yeah. Yeah, we just had lunch. The tides changed. Yeah, that was. Uh, I thought it was a, a big snap because at the last minute it was taking some line, but. The shark got hold of him, didn't he? Yeah, got very light in the second half, and that's why. Um, all oh, right, I need to put some speed into this because we ain't going nowhere. Well, that's probably why fucking we. Yeah. Yeah. Shark had it. Shark had it. Yeah. Yeah, being right in. That was good to get a snap of the end, but we'll have another drop now. But it, this is a, it's hard work, team. Hard work, man. Thirty knot wins backing up and now I'm having to back quite high speed but it's quite hard just to nail it and get exactly the right speed so we sit there vertical on the lures when you get it close um how's the line guns Sam pretty low. is it yeah. when you when you get the fish close and you see um see color Grant, yell net, 10 yeah. times really loud. Put some elbow, uh, elbow grease into it, champ. We're going to run out of line on a reel on the other side if you don't start moving. You're going to keep playing with that thing or bring it in? What are you doing? I'll oh, give you gonads a break, Jesus. <laughs> Awesome. I'm coming round on you, bruh. Yep. Hold on, Grant. Okay. Which way? Which way are we going, dude? Oh, yep. Wine, Sam. Where are you, dude? Down there. I might have unsnagged now. Oh, yeah. Far out. Back again. It's like the whole fucking reel. Far out. That's nearly all of it. Grant was, I don't know what he was doing. He had his rod in his butt and his crutch strap and all sorts. It's all getting fucking wanker's crap. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Oh, that wind's got us. Right beneath us. Yeah, Back that wind's got us. On. All of it. Not again. Again. Shit, boys. Oh, snap her on. I'm going to chuck that in the um, rod holder at the back there for uh, the bait board. So hopefully you fucking guys will catch them and get upsize these little cuties. The reel on the mat and take a photo with it. With no braid on it. 
<laughs> Weird ass <edge>. Yeah. <laughs> Sam's on to a big slug. The bigger pal. Lift and wind. Yeah, that's it. Take your time, man. Take, don't stress out. Take your time. Savor it. Yeah, it felt like a pretty good fish, dude. Wow. I don't know what I've got my drag set on, so. Jesus. Around a bit. Is he taking line still? Yeah. Not as much. Yeah. You're good to do net duties, Grant? Yeah, bro. Right, where's the. We've still got time if you want to record. Yep, okay. Net's right there, so. I don't. Hopefully, it's a whole snapper this time. <laughs> Watch out, that shark. Still taking line out. Yeah mate, good fish dude. Just keep that bend on buddy. We got the leader Grant, net mate, net. Net, net, net. Yeah, it's a good fish. A good it's one. a real good fish. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Shit yeah. Sam's on the board. He's got a, that's a good slug. He's probably, oh, 16, 17 pound, 16 round, probably 16 pound. Yeah. That'd be your biggest snapper, dude? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it was worth sticking it out, eh? Grant's hooked up. Sam just had a giant shark on. So it's been a visit. You're a bit of a shark sort of wrangler, aren't you? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We've got, here we go. We've got net, we've got snapper. Oh, that's a good one too. There you go, wet bastard. Ohi. Good shark slayer? Yeah, mate. Yeah, this one's not happy, eh? <laughs> Sam's back in. He's actually, be, he's the shark slayer, eh? Grant. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's catching, either that or he catches the reef. Yeah, he's uh, snaggled a few sharks. I was actually saying to the few people last night at the prize giving that I've never been ever had a snapper taken by a shark. And what happens? And Sam does it. How good. Now he's back in. But the boys got a couple of good snapper today for the weigh-in, so that's real good. It's been pretty trying. You had a good time, uh, prop guy? Wicked mate, it's been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like guy. I don't think he heard. No. <laughs> oh. oh, that's way bigger. Yeah, mate. Good fish. Just making our way back to the resort now. Better where we are here, still pretty rough. Yeah, making our way back, probably take us about, probably an hour to get back. Friday night prize given tonight, but now nah, pretty good day with the lads. Brutal conditions, like it was hard work, and they did good actually. It was real hard to film, so I'm sorry guys. Filming wasn't great. Uh, Grant's having a piss. Why is everyone pee when I'm on the camera? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I probably just cut it at that actually. Alright team, so first of all one thing I'd like to do is say is a massive thanks to 
Nathan and Penny for uh, all the awesome work they're doing, all the cooking, all the food, looking after us at 7.30 and 7 a.m. for coffees, then looking after us drunk at 12 o'clock at night as well. <laughs> so uh, massive thanks to um, Nate, you and Penn, you guys have been legends, eh? Thanks heaps for all yeah. Awesome food. Um, I don't want to interrupt the prize giving too much, but um, you guys have got a new dealer in, in Melbourne, Melbourne now. So Adam Marshall, where's Adam? He's uh, he's here. So um, do we clap? Yeah, well, yeah, you should because. <laughs> Well, they used to be Welcome a stable. The family. They used to be yeah. a stable with you, and now they're a senator dealer. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the biggest stuff up today, the, uh, the prize, but I'll let that uh, oh, play its no, course. No, no, no. But because of, but because of that, I'm going to put on a, a shout. So, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. so it'll be a few rounds of me um, after yeah. this. So, for everybody. Did you run out of fuel somewhere too? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Holy, no, we didn't do that. No, 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 no. Holy f there's some good stories tonight, hey? <laughs> More braid round props, hitting rocks. <laughs> What's the thing on catching f***ing birds? <laughs> <laughs> I thought yesterday we hit rock bottom, oh, and the biggest snap would be 27 centimetres. Hey. Fuck me. <laughs> we, 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 that was good though, well done. <laughs> Shit, it just got worse and worse. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Uh, last man standing. So for you guys that uh, weren't here in the last couple of days, if your name gets drawn out for last man standing, come up here, grab your tag. Tomorrow night, you'll be the one of the 15 people left standing. Once we draw your name out of the hat, if you're the last person standing, you'll get the Suzuki outboard motor. Three, 300 off the back of that eight meter <laughs> And they're going to go home on that little 2.5. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> Here we go. Number one. First one. Brent from No Limits. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Matt from Marco. Boy, yeah, yeah. Kurt from Relentless. Oh, One, Jackie from Relentless. Thank you very much. And the last one is Dan Govia, No Limits. Oh, DG. Hey, he only arrived today. Yes, but he has the record for the most sen sen uh, senators in New Zealand. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> what have you got? You're 770 now, eh? So in six yeah. months, you'll Dan's uh, old 770 will be up for sale. <laughs> 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 Alright, thanks guys. That's the last of the last man standing. Or oh, lady standing. Sorry, lady standing. So does. The fishing in that was so f***ing piss poor. We've out, out, out made some more categories. Some pretty outlandish categories as well. Now with the weather being pretty junk tomorrow, do we want to ditch a couple of species, i.e. Groper and JDs, and change them to Spotties or seagulls or some sort of. <laughs> <laughs> no, goats are good. Do we want to keep. Don't want to do spotties, spotties. No. Want to keep. The longest spiky dog at a monstrous 85 centimetres, Brian Sangster from CC Rider. That's bigger than his kingfish. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger spotty at a jigginormous 25.2 centimetres. Stu from the Brokeback Mountain Boys. <laughs> Good on you, Stu. Good on you, Brokeback. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> That's, you obviously haven't seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good watch, believe me. How do you reckon you got to sort of back? <laughs> Don't ask. Biggest bit of seaweed was a monstrous <laughs> 1.3 metres, and that's Darren Cooksley from Relentless. <laughs> Two. Uh, longest shag 
and uh, 600. That's Brian Sangster once again. <laughs> Give you a different Brian. <laughs> Can't catch anything. <laughs> the biggest car watch today was 52 centimetres, and that's Jackie Law. Mystery lead cob between 33 and 40 centimetres. Our lovely cook, Penn, decided that size was 39.5, and that's between Billy from You Wanna Go and Dale Woods. Where are those two? Right, you two are gonna come up here and do paper, scissors, right. Is this out of three or one? Uh, we'll see how the first one goes. <laughs> <laughs> three out of three. Oh. Rock. Yeah. Oh. Fucking one one. I can't believe they got three rest on there. Down to our legendary best story category. There's got to be heaps today. Who, who, who uh, fell down the steps? Someone hit the prop on the rocks. Come on, where are they? There's got to be some good ones. <laughs> I didn't fall down the steps. You did. I landed on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Grant got a 300 Yamaha and lost 300 metres. The whole spool. So the whole spool went around the prop. <laughs> And, 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 and I've got another one. One and a half, two metre seas. It wasn't pretty. I thought about blaming the skipper, but it's pretty hard, eh? <laughs> Falling down the stairs. It's yeah, yeah. pretty good. <laughs> Relentless, too. Yeah. If there was a bit more room, I'd do a back foot, but I'll wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, most unusual fish today was a summit fish, which is basically if a, uh, I think maybe a conga eel f***ed a wonky gonk. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty much what it what was, so yeah, summit, and that goes to Marcus Hum. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was just the amount of work to chop all those wonky gonks up and put them on, was it an eel? Uh, no. No, I can't disclose that. <laughs> well done. So longest kingfish at uh, 1.12 centimetres. Dan Govia, no limits. Oh, yeah. hey, Danny. Oh, Danny. Nice DJ. Uh, longest snapper, Sam Walker, infamous, 72 centimetres. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Longest barracuda coming in at monstrous 92 centimetres, Grant Smith down to <laughs> Longest wonky gonk at a monstrous 36.5 centimetres, gets a Shimano tackle bag, Shimano beanie, big blue slow jig, black magic flasher rigs, a legendary bottom banger, and that goes to Warwick Johnson. Like you you want to go? Is it your Cheers, buddy. Thanks, Mark. Cheers, Dad. Top two, surely. So it's just some spot prizes, guys. We got Nick from Staycation. Is that my one there? Good on you. Cheers, Dad. Phil Bell from No Limits. Oh, shit. Reed from Mac Mac. Can we do the four foot challenge? <laughs> no. Just sit down. How many do you do? Bill Parson from No Limits. Richard from Relentless, Richard Law, Relentless. Hey. 
Yeah. Hey, there's an extra price for a fucking awesome t-shirt, bro. I oh, know. <laughs> Alright, thanks each team. Uh, I think there's some weird animal horse racing stuff going on soon, so get amongst that. But yeah, thanks each team. Well, well done. Anything to add, Grant? Nah, awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, cheers, guys. Day three, final day, just gone 7.40. All the boats are sort of fueling up. We're going out as one big mob to try and get some cool drone footage and that. And we're going to head through French Pass and go up the western side. Just fueled up at Tarara. Awesome thing about this uh, resort as well is that we can actually fuel up here on the jetty. That makes life a lot easier. With the Yami, I can run 95 or 91. Obviously with 95 it runs a lot better, but I can run 91 if, uh, if I need to. So we're going to make our way out now, probably see in the background all the uh, motor of senators heading out there. Actually the forecast today guys is really bad again, it's 33 live at Stevens. I will do my best to try and get some better footage on the water, it's been pretty slack so let's we'll see how we go. We just did a full 
navigation around the bottom end through French Pass up to Nile Head. We're just inside Nile Head now. And got a couple of good wonky gonks on board. And all the other boats wanted to do a they all everyone wanted to come through French Pass, so we made our way up around this side again. The weather's junk up the top once again. Probably got fifth dog oh, 20, 15, 20 knots coming over the top. Reverse Aim in reverse grunt. Yeah, it's pretty pretty junk weather again, and we've got rain, so me hoping I'd film better, that's not going to happen. But Barracuda, Wonky Gonk, couple of cod. What was the, were both cod legal or not? It was 35, it's 33. Three. Oh, yeah, sweet. So I've got mystery cod for the comp. And that's a couple more. And a parrotfish, you get a picture of the parry fish? Yeah. Sweet. And a baby snapper. And a baby snapper, yeah. Might be the biggest for the day again. <laughs> yeah. We had all the we lined up all the senators and got some epic drone shots of them all cruise along and actually got a pretty good one of old Pat and CC Ryder cruise along in some horrible seas. Don't use the rod as a crane, Sam. Grab the leader and pull it in please, you'll break my rod. I think these guys would have learned by now, day three. But I'll tell you what. Hard yards. <laughs> That's a good cod too, isn't it, dude? Yeah. We've a couple of cods there. Um, really nice to eat in the fair of that bad <laughs> Giant wonky champ. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Is it really? No, it's not. What do you got, Crown? Oh, it's pretty small. It might be a cod or another wolf. Go on. Just gone 2.30. Snapper fishing was pretty slow. We ended up coming back through the passage, which wasn't. It was a bit choppy, but it wasn't as bad as yesterday. Pretty disturbed though. Good sign there, lads. We've just come over to the trios now and we're just uh, catching some cod for tea. Tarara do a catch and cook there, which was awesome. So we're gonna have uh, fish and chips with our fresh cod for tea. We're just trying to get one last cod, but we're struggling. Any luck, lads? Quite in, it's not big. <laughs> But uh, yeah, once again, sorry, not a lot of good footage because there has been a lot of action and the weather's been pretty bad, to be fair. It's been good with uh, all the boats here and all the crew. All the Senator people are awesome, eh? Like, the crew we got for the comp are all such legends. If any of you guys are watching this, thanks heaps for coming to the comp, man. It's been a ball meeting a lot of you guys in person, drinking a few tins and having a good laugh. And yeah, like I said, everyone's been so cool. Nathan and Penn at Tarara Resort, they just, the food's absolutely restaurant quality, real good pricing and all that, and they've just looked after us so good. So, hey, uh, thanks uh, Nathan and Penn, you guys are awesome. We've got the final prize giving tonight, which is the big one. We're going to see who the Rule the Sea 2023 gold champion is. It's a good sign down there now coming through, Grant. 18, 19 metres. So, one more cod. bad actually <laughs> yeah fishing didn't really approve on day three but the weather didn't either i think grant wanted to say a couple of words uh yeah like yeah it was pretty pretty average day but a few of you did pretty well out of the by the locks um given the challenging conditions but 
great for me to get out of the factory and um, come and meet, meet you guys. And I'm super proud to see you out there in real shit conditions and going out there and doing it, you know, it's awesome. Massive thanks to Mark for putting it all together. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. You're going to make me cry, mate, settle down. <laughs> all right, sweet, we'll get straight into it. So you guys can all watch the rugby. Everyone's whinging on about it. So we'll start with the second longest species, which is a barracuda. And that is the winner is, gets a Shimano tackle bag, $100 Prezi card, a Shimano knife, Shimano stubby can cooler, stainless steel braid scissors, a hat and buff, black magic flasher rigs, and that's all from a <laughs> barracuda. <laughs> <laughs> that is Heath Stratford from Mac Mac with a 96 centimetre behemoth cooter. Third longest species was a snapper, and that's a Shimano bag, a $100 Prezi card, a fillet knife from Shimano, stubby can cooler, stainless steel braces, his hat buff and black magic flasher, and that's Sam Walker with a 72 centimetre snapper on Infamous. Uh, fourth longest species was a kingfish, and that actually quite a few kingies were measured in today, it was good to see. Shimano Banara bag, $100 Prezi card, uh, Shimano fillet knife, stubby can call, stainless steel braces, hat and buff, and flasher, and that goes to No Limits Dangovia with a 112 centimetre kingie. Longest species was a John Dory, but no one caught a John Dory, so we changed, everyone seemed to catch f***ing parrotfish. <laughs> Never caught parrotfish, but we, everyone seemed to catch them, so parrotfish we decided. And so for a parrotfish, the longest one, get a Shimano Banara bag, $100 Prezi card, Shimano fillet knife, stubby can cooler, same as the last one actually. That goes to Shay Morley, bad attitude, with a 32 <laughs> Uh, rightio, sixth longest species was a groper, and that goes to Sam on Infamous with a 1.2 metre groper. It was actually Reed Forest from Mac Mac, <laughs> the 72 centimetre. <laughs> 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 nice one, Rito. <laughs> that was their idea, not mine. Your face would have said 1.2. Oh, it's on camera. It's on camera, actually. It's on camera. <laughs> Rightio, longest species of Trevally. Let's go to Sam Walker, infamous with 52.4. Only Trevally caught for the whole trip. Eighth longest species, Kawai, and that was a 54.5 centimetre. Kawai going to Aaron Oliver, you want to go? Ninth longest species was a Gurnard coming in at 50 centimetres, and that's the Shimano. And that goes to Reed Forest Mac Mac. Stay up behind us here, Rita. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet cheers. Sweet. Challenge today. Sit down. Sit down. Keith longest species, Cherokee. Only Cherokee caught, and a shitload of prizes for that 33 centimetre bad boy as Dave France on Stave Staycation. <laughs> <laughs> the main species this year was the wonky gong, so we had first, second and third for seed wonkies. Third place with 
the bronze, is that one bronze? Bronze Senator Trophy, Shimano Tackle Bag, $100 Prezi card, Big Blue Voucher for 50 bucks, Shimano Fillet Knife and Simrad Hat and Buff for a 35 centimetre wonky gonk. Wonky gonk. <laughs> for the Brian Sanks to CC Ryder. <laughs> Silver or second place for the longest wonky gonk. Center the trophy, Shimano tackle bag, $200 Prezi card, Black Magic Snapper pack, Big Blue Voucher for $50, Hat and Buff, Black Magic Flasher Rig goes to at 35.5 centimeter, Johnny Harrell Phantom. <laughs> What do we call the the gold gold winning the behemoth the slayer of the deep the supreme beast slayer of the wonky gonk of the wonk yeah the wonky gonk <laughs> so for first place is the senator tr gold silver gold trophy Shimano tackle bag three hundred fucking dollars for a wonky gonk <laughs> big blue Taibuki rod worth three hundred bucks. Shimano tackle bag, uh, work light in there, which are really awesome. Oh, bottle of champagne we got up at the at the room. And I, and also there was some random fish scale someone gave me. I threw them because I didn't want the thing. And a Shimano hat and buff, and that is Warwick Johnson with 36.5 from You Want to Go. Thanks everyone. Thanks again to our awesome host. You guys have been legendary. Food's been legendary. Everyone's had a good time. You looked after us like our parents. Uh, everyone's been real good too. Thanks again for all of you guys for coming, especially the guys from up north, man. Massive effort. It's been awesome to meet all you guys in person. And it was, you know, that, that footage out in the water was wicked with the drone. So I look forward to getting that. And uh, yeah, we'll probably have a few tins in that tonight. Um, I'll try and get some footage in that for the episode as well. And yeah, next year, we're probably gonna, we'll do it again next year. Same, be, be same spot. Hopefully same, if they let us back anyway. <laughs> so same spot, but um, yeah, we'll get a lot more sponsors on board as well for next year. So it'll be a lot bigger and meaner. We'll probably keep it quite small as well. So what we'll do next year is we'll open it up probably a month beforehand, only for you guys to enter. So you all have priority entries from now on. And then you'll have a month to enter, then we'll open it up and we'll probably only add another, maybe have 60 people. But next year we want to really fill the accommodation here and that as well. So whether we bunk and shear out and stuff, eh, no? Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's uh, about it from me. Uh, nothing else? Anything you want to add? No, uh, no. Yeah, all right. Thanks, thanks everyone. Oh, yes. um, I know everyone's really keen to get on watch the footy, as we are too, but um, on behalf of Dave and Deb and Penn and I, um, I'd like to thank you, Mark, for your... All good. Yeah, it's been All good. like eight months. All good. We organised it. a random email, yep. text message. Um, so for that, your accommodation is free. Come on, cheers. Cheers. Um, I'm happy to pay, though. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, with what we get out of this, it's absolutely amazing. Said Grant last night, this, this is our home, and now that you've all been here, you're part of, you're part of our family, you're, part of, you're our friends. Um, you know, it's not a place of work for us, it's where we live. So, what's, how much, what's my room worth? What's it a night? 250. 250, so that's at 5, 750. I'll put 750 on the bar for it. <laughs> No, no, I'll put 750 on the bar. Yep. Right. yep. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Drinks are on me, people. Hey, what about the sponsors? What? Oh, okay, yeah. Right, guys, so if you've got a, big, if you've got a major prize, you can actually forfeit your prize because I'm not in the competition. You've got the option to forfeit your prize and take one of these boxes. One box does have. A couple of boxes have very good prizes in them, one being a Shimano Vanquish reel worth $850.
So you can choose to forfeit it and take this box. If no one takes one, I'll take it and I get the prizes in the boxes. But it has to be a major prize. It's up to you, Rito. <laughs> you got, I want some of that rum. Oh no, oh taxi. Yep, yeah. Go for it. No, no, I'm joking, no, I don't really want that. I don't drink rum. Don't you? Thanks, mate. <laughs> You can't get it. <laughs> you can, you can, you can take whatever one you want, chat. You gotta open it here too. No, you can open it on your table here if you want. Which one was it? Thanks, Rito. <laughs> what did I get? <laughs> Open it, Rito. I don't even know. I don't even know which ones what and which either. <laughs> There's no real in any of them. <laughs> Creepy look, I'm not even looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Open it there. Mm. No, it's, hey, it's only in voucher, mate, for a reel. So it's what? Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Fuck, that's real. Count on, count on. That one's four. Four? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'll go that one. Alright, sweet. No, please, yeah. please don't. This is a good chance. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Honestly, mean that. <laughs> Didn't even have to catch a fish. Watch rugby. Oh, uh, <laughs> looking like a little girl's makeup kit. <laughs> you can. On you. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks, team. Well, that's the end of this adventure. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Senator Ruler C 2023. I've had a blast hosting it and actually just really enjoyed the trip away with Grant and Sam and everyone else in the competition. It was a pretty laid back comp, lots of laughs, few tins. Weather was terrible, but we made it work. For everyone that turned up for the comp, massive thanks, guys. You're all bloody legends for making the effort to turn up. And also all you guys who supported the channel and watch my content. Thanks heaps. And make sure you do the tick the tick button thing, thumbs up and all that sort of carry on. Again, I'm not your mother, but um, all your support means a lot. 
Thanks again, and like always, guys, stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one.